Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In previous video, I discussed polyhalide ions and their compounds. And today, I am going to discuss a special type of bonding, use of d orbitals from non-metals in bonding, and also I will discuss p pi p pi along with d pi p pi and d pi d pi type of bonding. So first of all, let's see that which type of overlap form sigma bond. S S linear overlap, P P linear overlap, S P linear overlap, and D Z square D Z square linear overlap. All types of these overlaps form sigma bond. And pi bond results from the uh, parallel overlap of p orbitals of combining atom, specifically called as p pi p pi parallel overlap. Or d pi p pi parallel overlap, or d pi d pi parallel overlap results in the formation of pi bond. So first of all, let's see use of d orbital in sigma bond only. It means that non-metals use d orbital in sigma bonding. So uh, what are the examples of this type of bonding? So few of the examples are given like PCl five SF six. I will explain PCl five. So atomic number of phosphorus is 15 and its electronic configuration is given. This is ground state and when phosphorus form bond, one of its electron from 3s jumps to the vacant d orbital and we get excited state. In excited state, phosphorus contain 5 unpaired electron. These undergo hybridization. We can also explain it by using valence bond theory concept i will use hybridization concept so dsp3 hybridization takes place as five orbitals of phosphorus are involved so new five orbitals are formed which overlap with the partially filled 3p orbital of chlorine so all of these overlaps are linear overlaps which results in the formation of sigma bonds and we get PCL5 molecule and its geometry is trigonal by pyramidal. So D orbital is forming sigma bond in this compound. So now briefly, I will briefly explain what is P pi P pi. You have already studies in your previous classes that when two P orbital overlap parallelly, they form pi bonds and the pi electrons are present above and below the nuclear axis of the combining atoms. So oxygen has atomic number 8. It has two partially filled orbitals 2px, 2py. All of these are degenerate orbital. You can also write unpaired electron over here. Well, I will use this method. So 2px of one oxygen overlap 2px of the other oxygen and this is linear overlap results in the formation of sigma bond 2py of one oxygen overlap parallelly to the 2py of the other and this parallel overlap result in the formation of pi bond. Now come to the d pi p pi system. So in this system d orbital as it has four lobes overlap with p orbital and this is also a type of parallel overlap and this type of overlap is called as d pi p pi overlap. How we can explain this overlap? We use the example of sulfur dioxide. Atomic number of sulfur is 16 and configuration is this in ground state. We can also write this configuration in this way. And in first excited state, one electron from 3p jumps to 3d vacant orbital and we get first excited state of sulfur. Sulfur has four unpaired electron in its 3p and 3d orbital. In SO2 molecule, there are two oxygen atom. Configuration of oxygen is this and other oxygen is this. So oxygen has two partially filled orbital. 2px, 2px. So, four of these orbital overlap with four of these partially filled orbitals. How this overlap takes place? Let's see this. 
3p orbital of sulfur and this is 3d so this 2px overlap with the 3p of sulfur 3p 2p sigma bond linear overlap and this 2px of oxygen overlap with 3p orbital of sulfur and as a result another sigma bond is formed so both of these two sigma bonds are formed from overlap of these of two oxygen uh, uh, partially filled orbitals and these two now 3p of sulfur overlap with 2p y of oxygen so 3p of sulfur overlap with 2p y of oxygen and pi bond is formed so this is first pi bond form and 3d of sulfur overlap with 2p y of oxygen another pi bond is formed and this is specifically a type of d pi p pi bond okay another example of d pi p pi system is sulfur trioxide this is the first excited state of sulfur as i discuss uh, in previous example and in second excited state one of electron from 3s orbital jumps to the second vacant 3d uh, orbital of the sulfur atom and we get second excited state in second excited state there are six unpaired electrons in so3 there are three oxygen atom and the electronic configuration of oxygen is given here so we have three 2px orbitals and 2py uh, p orbitals of on each oxygen atom so this 2px 2px and this 2px they overlap linearly and these overlap parallelly with sulfur so how we can explain these type of overlap let's see this oxygen the 3s of sulfur overlap linearly with 2px of this oxygen and sigma bond is formed so this is the first overlap 3p of sulfur overlap 2px and sigma bond similarly this 2px overlap 3p orbital of the sulfur and this is also a linear overlap we get sigma bond and similarly 2px of this oxygen overlap linearly and we get another so three sigma bonds are formed this 2py overlap with 3p 3p and 2py so first pi bond is formed and this is the parallel overlap pi bond is formed 3d orbital of sulfur overlap with 2py of oxygen this is the 3d of sulfur overlap 2py another pi bond is formed so this is parallel overlap and 2py of this oxygen overlap parallelly with 3d orbital of the sulfur and this is another pi bond is formed due to the parallel overlap of 3d 2p so there are two bonds formed due to d pi and p pi system so this is the example of d pi p pi bonding there is another type of pi bonding called as d pi d pi bonding and this result due to the overlap of d orbitals between metallic elements and ligand and we get this type of parallel overlap so this is called as d pi d pi parallel overlap which result in the formation of pi bond so usually this bonding is present between metals and ligands it is a different type of bonding as compared to simple metal ligand complexes it is a type of back bond bonding usually in metal complexes ligand donates its lone pair to the metal but in this example this is the metallic d orbital with t2g electrons and this is the ligand specifically triphenyl phosphine it has vacant d orbital so this parallel overlap in this parallel overlap the electrons are present in metallic d orbital so this is a type of back bonding this results in the formation of pi bond and this is called as d pi d pi bonding 
in coming videos i will explain uh, the uh, i will further explain this type of bonding so there is another type of bonding called as d sigma d sigma which is found between dz square dz square orbitals because these orbitals have two lobes so these can uh, these can overlap in linear manner so this type of overlap result in the formation of sigma bond called as d sigma d sigma this is all about p pi p pi d pi p pi and d pi d pi bonding in elements thank you very much